What's going on guys? So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will know that um, my axle went out again. As you guys remember from the last video we did a while back ago, it, it went out on the right side and now it went out on the left side. So me and the homie Lewis are going to be fixing it, but the reason I wanted to make this video is for you guys because I don't I didn't really explain it last time um, but this is a CV axle and as you guys can see um, half of it like I see like three-fourths of it came out and there's still the boot stuck in there which let me see if I can focus on that there oh that's better give me my flashlight <laughs> So if you guys can take a look in there, this, the last part of the CV boot still stuck in there. So what we're going to be doing is be using a makeshift like sliding hammer, which is basically just vice strips. Like a, how long is that now, or that screw? Probably three or four feet. Three like three, three or four feet. We got it from Auto's, or from uh, Home Depot, so if you guys need all this stuff, it's from Home Depot. So we got the vice strips, we got the screw, and then we're going to be using... This has worked before. Yeah, it has worked before, and we're going to be using some washers, a nut, and this thing right here to sort of help slide it or pull it out, because that's what you need to do. It's pretty easy, but it's just a hassle to do, so that's what we're going to be doing, and yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so this is the bi strips right here. As you guys can see, we got the long screw behind it. And then I did cut off a piece of the boot that was uh, stuck in there. Nasty. And then, so all we're gonna do is just basically clamp down on it. And then Mexican music came on. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm just gonna pull it. So, let me get in here, Liz. Alright, so. Oh. Your hand's blocking it, Jose. Uh, it's gonna be hard. Uh, as you can see, it's clamped in there. And then he has that sliding hammer right there. So basically, all he has to do is just yank pull on it. it. Yeah, yank on it. Okay, so you didn't tighten it on enough. Uh, okay, so we need to do it again. So tighten the. I feel like I should get out of here. No, you're fine. If it comes off, just catch it. Something flew in my mouth. Yeah? Something flew in my mouth. <laughs> oh, I saw you. I saw you. You got it? Yeah. All right, we got it, wait, guys. Wait, hold on. So, let me get up. Yeah, that thing's going to leak. All right, so we were just yanking on it nonstop for about 15 minutes and finally oh, wiggled so it out. Get the fork out, Louis. This is basically what you're getting now. This right here. Yeah. This is what you saw dentro. Just needs to wiggle out. That's it right there. Good shit. So yeah, you just gotta keep trying until uh, you get this out. But I mean, I guess the way you use these, because we didn't really know how to use these, is basically. You have to screw it in to the point where you, it's kind of hard to clamp onto this, but eventually it'll clamp down. So you have to use your muscles, get it clamped down super tight with the end of the teeth. Yeah. And then once you get it clamped down, then it should be tight enough. You guys are wondering what kind of bi scripts are using. We're using Milwaukee. It's Good a shit. Pork lock. Pretty cool bi strip by my Home Depot. They're like 30 bucks, pretty expensive. <laughs> Something like that. And but now his teeth. The job done. And now his teeth are all stripped out. It's nice to go buy new ones. <laughs> Not an issue. Hey. That's why I went to AutoZone and got the warranty for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, going out and buying a nice one. All right. So now we need to get that bolt out to get the fork off. And once we get that fork moved, then we get the new axle and just it kind of just slides in. You just twist it and push it in, and then eventually it'll lock in. Then you do the same thing on that end. So right now we're gonna take that out. See, this is the uh, 
If you point, if you look in here, Lewis, you can see where it clamps in. Can you see here. Right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Point to it? It's up there. That's where you're, I think that's the transmission. That's where it goes into. Oh yeah, I see that little hole right there. Yeah, that's what basically it's inside. Yeah, I can see that. And then of course, this is your lower control arm. And then I think you do have to remove the fork where your coil over goes for, the, for you to put the new one in. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Record Empire what you're doing? Yeah, I'm trying to get this end off. But off. Where's my phone? If I can get this end link off, then I can lower the control arm down and put the new one on. I put the new axle in. But the end link, the bolt is just turning. It's not actually doing anything. But don't give me this because don't give me that. This the. No, no cabe. No. Si cabe, así como estamos haciendo. Maybe I can lift that arm just enough for me to slide this in. Big boy, do it. Levántalo ese que estamos haciendo. There you go. Yeah, I see that. Big fucking boy. ¿Por qué no vas a hacer más todo? Si me meta. ¿Eh? Tengo que hacer todo. Tengo que hacer todo yo. You know what he said? Uh uh. He's like, I have to do everything myself. This is good, huh? Tell me that good shit. Now I have to put that arm or the axle in. That's not the fucking one, Meta. Escucho? You just twist and push now, right? You have to twist too, Jose, because it needs to lock in. Oh, he said he felt it go in? Yeah, but I'm just going to double check. Yeah, fuck yeah. Your <laughs> axle, dude. All ready. All right, Lewis, ready for a test drive? Let's go, Jose. Look. <laughs> what was the problem, Jose? You're too low? Yeah. Too low. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's actually the next day, and we got the axle on and everything. Um, the only issue we really had was that we didn't push it all the way in. So when I took it out for a test drive after we put it back together and we came back, we realized that it was leaking like a little red fluid, which I'm assuming is transmission fluid. Um, so we jacked it back up real quick and we realized that there was a tiny gap, which I think I announced or I, I said earlier in the video that there was like a tiny gap that I think we still need to close, which we did. So we just pushed it further in and eventually we closed that gap. Um, but I've been driving it for about a day or two now. I haven't seen any new leaks or anything, so I think we did good. Um, so if you guys, like I said, um, if you guys have that issue where your axle stuck in there, highly recommend using that. It doesn't take too long. Um, the first time, we tried prying it out. We tried pulling it out. We tried everything, and it took us about five hours or so before we realized, like, hey, we might want to try something else. And then eventually we found some a tutorial that basically described a similar concept or the same concept and we ended up trying it out and actually came right out. So I wish we, we would have known that the first time, but. So yeah, so this video helped you out anyway. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Right now, I am actually just checking the wheel um, or the axle just to make sure everything is good. So like I said, this is the new axle we have in there and you guys can see it's in there. It's a little bit dirty because I didn't fully clean it. So there's still a little bit of leftover grease in there. Um, but I did check the underneath of it just to make sure there wasn't any leaks and we're good And as you guys can see here, this is the uh, coils I am on my Godspeed coil over the Mono SS If you guys are interested in seeing that video check out the link below. I will link everything down below um, It's pretty good. I like it so far The reason I went with these coils over something else is because um, these coils actually give you dampening So I can make them as stiff as I want as soft as I want and right now I'm pretty stiff simply because um, the way I have my car set up if I don't have it at stiffness, it bounces too much and it just scrapes a lot. So with the stiffness, it helps out a lot. And of course, this is a big bolt you will need to take off. If you guys don't know how to take off your axle as well, um, I did make a video earlier describing how to do that. I didn't want to remake that video just because I've already made it. I just wanted to simply make a video showing you guys how to remove that part. But yeah, so basically, just in short, you basically have to unscrew or you have to take this bolt off. I believe it's going to be either a 32 millimeter or a 36. Mine was a 36. Take that off and then 
Um, you basically hammer this in with a hammer. It'll come out and then you will want to I believe once this bolts off you can actually pull this to the side and then you pull this the entire axle out of here and then that's when you pull out the new axle and then once you have everything of that old axle out you put the new one in run that axle through here again and then screw it on so it's a pretty simple concept pretty easy um, oh you actually also do have to remove this fork right here in order to get this axle off and put the new one on um, I was trying to if you guys remember I was trying to take off the end link but then that's when I realized you didn't have to um, so yeah so everything else is pretty good I did remove or I did replace my lower control arms earlier this year so we're still good on those and uh, everything else seems to be in good shape let's check this bolt out this bolt's good and then yeah that's pretty much it um, so yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video um, also I just want you guys to know for those of you still watching until the end uh, I am going to be making or be doing a giveaway um, in the next video with the uh, Kaz Pearl Panda. So if you guys are interested in um, learning more information about that, stay tuned for the next video. It's actually going to be on interior LED lights. We're teaming up with the company to just give you guys some free product. And then, yeah, so I'm excited. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much it going to be for this video. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, if it helped you out in any way, or if, it thinks, if you think it'll help you out in the future, make sure to give it a thumbs up. But other than that, Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.